Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to convert an M4 to MP3 without too much of a hassle. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So I'm actually going to have a link in the description of the video I want you guys to navigate over to. This is a free website. There's no limits to how many you can convert. There's no email you have to type in. None of that. So it's audioconverter.com, onlineaudioconverter.com to be specific with a couple dashes in between. You can easily find this on Google as well, but I'm just going to include a link in the description of the video. So I'm going to left click on open files. I have this mp4 file on my desktop. I'm just going to double click to open it up. Once it's imported, you can change the quality of it. Usually standard sufficient though for most purposes. And then you just put left click on convert right down there. Depending on how large the file is, it might take a couple moments to actually run through it. And then once it's done, there should be a download button. So if you just right click on it and left click on save as. Or you can actually go ahead and just left click on download button, whichever you prefer. But just save it to wherever. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop again. And they put in parentheses the name of their website. You don't have to keep that in there if you don't want to. So I'm just going to say new music. And it's going to download that. And if we went back to convert more files, you actually could just drag and drop multiple files in at the same time. So it's definitely convenient. So you do open files. You can select multiple files at once. So it's definitely a cool little feature to know about. So let's just say highlight over all of them here. It should upload all of them and you can convert everything in this list. So it's definitely a cool website. And you can see I have my MP3 file right now on my desktop. Right click on it and left click on properties. You can see it's an MP3 file versus what it was before, which was an M4A file. So go underneath properties for the first one. You can see it was an M4A file. So pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. Do a boss be able to help you out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.